Hey guys, Casey Guy 2, no nonsense, no how. Working on a 2008 F250 6.4 liter diesel. Just wanted to share my quick experience here. When you're changing these fuel filters on this thing, uh, do not skip the bleeding process because if you get air in a high pressure fuel system, it's a problem. You got one fuel filter down on the frame and then you got one up top here. It's a 36 millimeter. They come as a kit, usually with both filters. But uh, after you get those in there, make sure to turn the key on, leave it on for 30 seconds, and repeat that six times. Because, like, this guy actually brought this thing with no fuel in it, and, uh, you know, had 10 miles left to eat, and I didn't realize that. So I ran, I got air in the high pressure system. And it's, I've added five gallons now, so I got just under a quarter tank. But, uh, Basically, what I had to do to get the air out of this high pressure system, they sell a special tool, but I found that number 69, which is right here, M12 by 15 external banjo bolt adapter out of this mass o OTC Master Kit 6550, fits perfectly on top here to replace the banjo bolt here. And that puts the, uh, you know, the top and facing up, which is what you need so you can get the air out of the system. So I did that, and you use this hose here, number 11, that comes with a kit, and you just depress this and cycle the key. Lord knows how many times uh, to get all the air out of this high pressure system, but even with it all out, it's running good right now. It's been running for 20 minutes. I do still have little air bubbles coming out of there, so I don't know a ton about diesels, but I know you're not supposed to have air in the fuel system, and you know, as far as I'm going with this today, if anybody wants to comment and say whether that's normal with one of these running, uh, you know, I'd appreciate to know that since I, I don't offhand. But anyway, just figure I'd let you guys know which piece works. It's the M12 by 15 banjo adapter. Uh, you can also take an old banjo ball or order one of those and then drill it out upside down and tap the top. Use like 8 inch MPT, put a barb fitting on top of it to be able to put a hose on. So. And then they sell a special tool. Uh, the only other way would be cracking that loose and trying to bleed it that way, but you're gonna allow air back in the system doing that. You have to get the, the port on the top is the key. So anyway, hope this helps you out. That was my experience. It was definitely a, a PETA pain in the ass to bleed this thing, but it's running good now and I'm gonna get her out of here. So thanks guys. Thumbs up if it helps and thanks for watching. Casey Guy too. No nonsense, no how.